Hello everyone, welcome to Code Enzyme and in this video we are going to discuss this D problem from Code Forces round 923 and you are given an array A of n integers and Q queries and each query is represented by two integers L and R and your task is to find for each query two indices i and j is such that uh, i and j are less than r and greater than or equal to l and a i not equal to a j okay so n is going to 2 into 10 to the power 5 and q is also going to 2 into 10 to the power 5 so you have to solve every query in big o of log n time or uh, something like that okay okay now actually i have solved this problem using two ways the first is using square root decomposition Uh, which is a little advanced so i will discuss this approach at the end and the second is using uh, something very calm something i i don't know what to call it uh, so a bit simpler approach okay so let's discuss the simpler approach first so what you can do is you can first maintain uh, a next array okay and in this you will store that if you are at a current index okay so if you are at index i uh, what is the minimum uh, what is the minimum index that you need to go to to get a uh, so what is the minimum uh, right index to go such that ai not equals to a of r okay so i am storing this value of uh, r in my next time okay and this is actually pretty simple let's say we have an array of 1 1 2 3 3 3 and 4 and 5 okay so my next i can be calculated using let's say i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the index is, is goes like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so let's say uh, the last value will be 8 because i can't go on the right hand side the fourth value will be equals to uh, 7 because if i am at 4 i need to go to 7 to get a different array index now if i am at 3 i need to go uh, if i am at 5 i need to go to 6 if i am at 4 then i i need to go to uh, 6 right so if the array of i is equals to array of i plus 1 then i can simply go to next of array of i plus 1 okay uh, so in this case also i can go to 6 uh, in this case i need to simply go to i plus 1 which is equals to 3 in this case i will go to uh, 2 and here also i will go to 2 okay now if i am given an l and r then i can simply uh, do uh, simply query it using this array so let's see the code first so we can simply uh, make this array using uh, this code and after that i will have to simply query that okay if my r is less than equals to next one then i will print, simply print them otherwise i will say minus one and minus one so that was the code and now let's also discuss another approach that is using square root decomposition okay so uh, square root decomposition so what is square root decomposition uh, so in this video, I'm not going to explain what uh, what square root decomposition is. If you want to me to explain square root decomposition, you can comment down, and I will probably make a video on it. Uh, basically, you divide the array into several segments, okay, uh, into a square root of n segments, and in each segment, uh, I'm storing two value, uh, two things. First thing is, can I uh, does this segment has two different values, and if it has, then I'm storing the index of the uh, of that value and the value itself okay otherwise i'm storing a minus one and the value that is in the in this whole array so that is what i'm storing in this value and using that i'm trying to query my solution uh, in, and using that i'm trying to query the answer so let's also see that approach so first i'm making uh, the square root decomposition uh, arrays so if the if the c was so first I have to check the first index that is not equals to L of i. So the first element in the uh, segment. And if if I find that, uh, 
So if I see that uh, there was no element that was there were no two elements that were unequal, then I'm I'm storing minus one comma a of l. Otherwise, I'm storing the index. Uh, otherwise, I'm storing the index that are uh, at which a different value is there and the value itself. Next step is standard stuff. Um, ne next we have all the standard stuff. So in square root of n time, I am querying it. So first I have to check if the in the segment from L to the next uh, start index of the next segment. Then from uh, then I am traversing in on the segments and at the end I am traversing from the uh, in the last segment. Okay. So uh, and if still I can't find it, I have to print a minus one and minus one. So if you were able to understand these two approaches, kindly like this video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.